Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and I got some M2 machines, some Auto World, and a bunch of Hot Wheels, which are kind of cool. And I did get one treasure hunt. So to start out with, we're going to start out with the M2s, and these are the haulers, and these are older. This one here is actually from 2015. This is a 1958 Chevy LCF and a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. This thing here, the paint on this thing is just awesome. It's a cool, cool looking unit. It's purple with the uh, yellow flames and the white interior in there. The paint is just awesome. It's got the big white wall tires on her thing is very nice love the paint on this one I think they did a great job with the paint and this is from 2015 so it's definitely older and then of course the 57 Chevy in the trailer there awesome that looks fantastic it's the same purple with the yellow flames with black interior she is sharp that is a cool looking car right there love the paint love it absolutely love it and there's the back of her not much to see there but that is one cool unit there alrighty and with the older stuff I got another one I believe this one's from 15 as well yes it is this is 1958 LCF and a 1957 Chevy Bel Air again but this time it's done in blue with silver flames it's got white interior big white wall tires on her I think it's just cool uh, cool looking unit here's the front of the truck very nice and of course it's a 57 Chevy that thing is just gorgeous again a very nice blue and it's got white with blue accent panels in the seats there yeah, it's oh it's actually silver interior it's kind of cool nice looking car and of course it's just got your regular flatbed trailer Trailer's even got the white balls on her, back of it, not much to see there. But yeah, that's another cool unit. Love it. Like these two 57s. Those are very nice. And another older one. This is not as old. I think this is 2018. And it's a 1966 Dodge L600 cab over engine and a 1966 Dodge Charger Hemi. And again, the colors are I don't know, they, they seem like an old school color with that um, kind of a brownie yellow, I guess it is, with the red. It's got black interior. It's got the uh, gold wheels, I guess, there. Not too bad. It's kind of a unique paint scheme on this one. I think that looks pretty good, though. Not a bad looking unit. And, of course, the charger in the back there, all ready for the race. It's pretty cool. It too has black interior, 426 cubic inch on the hood. Very cool unit. Of course, there's the back. Not much to see there again. Closed doors. Yeah, another nice unit. It's Coca-Cola. But whatever, it's still pretty cool. I like that one. And something a little newer, another Coke vehicle. Uh, 1969 Ford F100 Ranger 4x4 and a 1990 Ford Mustang GT. And there's the truck, and that's what it's all about there for me. I love these Ford trucks, so I had to have it. This one's got red interior, red roof with black exterior on the body there. Pretty cool looking unit for sure. Got a big old trailer hitch in the back there, you can see, but there's the front of her. Sitting a little crooked in the box, but not bad. Pretty sweet. And again, it's like it's tubbed out in the back, which is kind of odd for four-wheel drive truck, but eh, whatever. Big trailer hitch. And there's the uh, trailer with the toolboxes on the front. And then the Mustang on the back. Black with red interior. It says enjoy Coke on the hood. Actually, it's on both vehicles, the truck and the car. It's a pretty cool looking unit. Love the Ford trucks. There's the back of her. Very nice. Nice. I was very happy to see that. I wasn't sure I was going to get that one, but I did manage to get it. And another one I got. It's again a little different. It's a 1964 Dodge A100 Pano Van and a 1966 Dodge Charger Gasser. 
now the van it, it's just too small I said that and I think my last video I had one of these vans and it's just too small it's not the proper scale but it's not bad it's got black interior yellow exterior with white stripe coca-cola enjoy that refreshing feeling new feeling I guess it says there there's the front of her yeah the scale is off on this for sure but then they got the trailer looks pretty good toolboxes there coca-cola across the deck and then you got the charger gasser there which is awesome love my gassers I have this model quite a few times oh, a lot of different paint schemes but it's still awesome love the car done in yellow and white with the black interior again very cool there's the back of her not bad looks all right yeah nice little unit just that uh, the van is a little off scale for me it's not right at all so now we'll get into some auto world and this is uh, release one version B I'm sure I have version A I just got my order a couple weeks ago I just haven't got around to getting through everything yet but this is uh, part of the ones I've got this is a 1991 Mitsubishi 300 GT VR4 done in white with black interior with red accent panels on the seat which is pretty cool actually nice looking model of this car not too bad it's a pearl white by the looks of it I guess I could read the uh, tag here it's a uh, glacier white actually and there's the facts about it I don't know if you can see them but yeah you can pause it and read it but that's a pretty cool casting of that car for sure not bad at all looks good and number two to this one is the 80, 1997 Toyota Supra. This is done in Quicksilver FX, it's called. Black interior. Again, pretty cool looking car. Not too bad. The front of her. Yeah, it looks all right. There's the back. Lots of detail on the back there. It's all right. And there's some facts. If you want to pause it and read it like these facts on these things I think that's awesome that they do that and then we have the Corvette in rapid blue which is not a bad color for this car I guess it kind of suits it but uh, yeah it's black with the racing stripes black racing stripes black interior not too bad I have this casting quite a few times now through Auto World it's not bad not too bad back of her looks good and I guess there's some facts there I'm gonna pause it and read it nice car though I like it good looking thing and then we got the 83 Chevy Silverado step side and uh, yeah the other this one's dark tangerine metallic it's actually a really nice color looks good I do know I have the other side of this because I have a black one so there's uh this one here is well it's tangerine and it's got black interior it's not a bad looking truck it's lowered it's a front of her not too bad yeah, nice wheels on her back tailgate opens on this one by looks for yeah not too bad and there's some facts about it I'll pause it and read it yeah it's not bad the card art's actually really nice I like it looks good that card art and then we have the 79 Lincoln Continental mark 5 which I have one of these in an ultra red that is pretty cool this is dark red poly it's called it's got red interior white vinyl roof red exterior there that's kind of nice it's a cool looking car these are big old cars. These are pretty sweet. I like this casting. The back of her. Very nice. And there's some facts there if you want to pause it and read it. Pretty cool. And of course, the card art's really nice on that too as well. I like it. 
And then the last one for the Auto World is the 84 Dodge Caravan, which is a new casting for these guys. And uh, I have a couple of them now, and I think it's pretty cool that they bring this out. And this has got uh, red interior. It's garnet pearl coat, it says, but it's red interior. It's outside there. It's got the uh, wood grain paneling on it. It's actually pretty cool. There's the front of her. It's pretty neat. You don't see many of these out. And I'm glad to see Auto World put these out. Because it's quite a unique casting for sure. And a lot of people will remember these. So that's probably why they put them out. Because people will remember them. Having to ride in them with their parents or whatever. Yeah, that's a pretty cool casting. I like that casting. So, on to some Hot Wheels. Now, these are, this is a set. This is one of eight. And it's 1966 Ford Fairlane 427. Again, these, uh, these are about $4 Canadian, which I think is a little much. But uh, it is what it is. It's, it's really about the card art with these cars because, you know, we've got these cars already, lots of them. And I think it's more about the card art. And the cards are all bent. All of them. Every one of them were on the pegs. But whatever. I grabbed them. But it is, it is pretty cool with the uh, yellow and the black racing stripes and the black interior on this car. It's pretty cool. But for me, I think it's more the card art on this one. There's a back for no detail on the back. No lights or anything. There's a front. Yeah, she's uh, pretty bare-boned, I guess. But it is a cool-looking car. I like it. Awesome. Love the Ford Fairlanes. Then we got the 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Done in white. With black interior. It looks really good in this, this white. I like the white on it. Not too bad. Again, no details. Just, uh, just your basic car. Back. Not bad again, it's a card art. I think that's what gets you is that card art right there. It's not the car. And then number three is the 69 Mercury Cougar. Done in this blue with red stripes on it with uh, white stars. So it's not too bad. A little different. Black interior. It's got wheel well flares on her it's a little different yeah again it's the card art pretty cool I like the card art on these ones and then we got the 67 Ford Mustang Coupe done in red with blue racing stripes white interior not too bad nice chrome wheels on her again no detail and look at the card on this one it's just it's whacked but whatever. Maybe laying them down flat with something on it. Maybe you might straighten them out. I don't know. But uh, there's the card art. Pretty cool. I like the cards. Man, that's the only part about these ones. This one here is 1969 Dodge Charger. Gray with black stripes and red interior. A very sharp looking car. I like the paint scheme on this one. The thing turned out very nice. Here's the front of her. Yeah, this is a nice looking car. I like the paint scheme for sure that they picked for this one. Looks really good. Of course, the card art again. Very nice. Like it. That's number five. Now number six. We'll go here to the GTO. She is a 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge. Done in green with the yellow and black striping on it. Black interior. Looks alright. I don't mind that. Looks all right, not green. Not bad. Again, no detail. It's the card art. Just awesome. Looks fantastic. And then we have the 67 Pontiac Firebird. Done in black with chrome interior. Chrome engine. It's not too bad. This is probably the least desirable one, I would guess, out of the group. Because I have seen a few of these on the pegs that nobody's touched. So, yeah. 
I don't think this one's real popular, but again, the card art's not bad on it. Looks okay. And number eight is the Buick GSX done in red with the black striping and black interior. Now, I love this car in real life. Like, that is an awesome car. There's the front of her. Not bad. Not too bad. Like I said, the cards are just jacked. Wow. There's the card art again. It's all right. So that's it for the, uh, I guess you'd almost call them premiums, I guess. I don't know what you really call them. But now we're getting into some regular main lines that I managed to pick up. That Ones that I didn't have. And I don't know what case these are all out of. I just found them. So I just got them. And the first one here, of course, is Barbie in her 1956 Corvette. Which I noticed in the U.S. they have two different cards of this. Now... This one here is the Canadian version, I guess, or international, they call it. But that's the car. It's done in pink with the white interior. And, of course, Mrs. 519's already claimed this one, so I'm going to have to find myself one, I guess, for, for my set. So there you go. Not too bad. Different. Haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to, though. I want to see that movie. I don't know why, but I do want to. And I got a treasure hunt, and this is a Toy Toyota Land Cruiser, which is not bad. I don't think it's too bad. Down in white there, you can see the little flame on the back fender there. Looks good. And, of course, the flame underneath. I don't know if you see it or not, but there's the flame underneath there. Yeah, that's the uh, treasure hunt. Now, I don't know what case. I didn't look any of this stuff up because we haven't been getting Hot Wheels and... You know, they just dumped a whole bunch of them, and so I have no idea what these ones are out of. I have no idea. And we got the coupe clip done in blue with the white stripe. So I think I'm up to date with all these. Now I have the blue one. I have the red one and the black one and the Zamax one, I guess. So yeah, this is the blue one. Coupe clip. Kind of cool. Not bad. Happy to see it. Just, so I got them all. This one here, a 2007 Ford Mustang. Awesome. I like it a lot. This is done very nice. I think they could have done something a little different with wheels. But the paint scheme, the car, it's cool. I like it. There's the front of her. I like this car for sure. And of course, I only found one. So I got lucky, I guess. Must be uh, quite desirable because I only seen one. I'm not sure. And the same as this one here. This is double decker, trouble decker, and it is a double decker bus. This looks pretty cool. In front of her. It's definitely different for sure, for sure. But it's all right. I don't mind that. And of course, man, yeah, Mrs. Five One Nine really wants this one too, but. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if we can find another one. This one here's got a little something on the wheel. I don't know if it's damaged or what. But, oh well. We'll see what it's like a little later. And then we got Quick Bite. This is the hot chicken. It's uh, green with the flames. Not too bad. I think it was last year, the year before that. It was This was actually a treasure hunt done in yellow. Yeah, this is part of the sweet rides. Not too bad. And, yep, I'm not even going to try and say that. I can't say it. It's Swedish, but it is a cool car. And it's done in yellow with the black. I think it's pretty cool. I don't mind this car at all. It's all right. I just wish I could pronounce the name of it. All I know is it's Swedish. It's got taillights in her and headlights, so it's got a little bit of detail to it. So it's all right, not bad. And then we got the purple Viper, which this is not a new casting. It's been around for a while. Purple with silver striping and black interior. It's not too bad. Like you said these are cars that I hadn't seen yet, so that's why I grabbed them. BMW 507, and I believe the last one was in white. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking it was. This is a uh, 
Got black interior, red exterior. Pretty cool. This one caught my eye. I don't know why, it just grabbed me, so I picked it up. That's pretty cool. Not bad. And this is another one that was pretty neat. I've seen people post pictures of this one online. And it is the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, apparently it's an electric vehicle. It's yellow with the white stripe and black on the top there, which is pretty cool. There's the front of her. Kind of a neat little van for sure. Now, it doesn't say anything about being a, a new casting or anything, like no 23 up here, new for 23 or anything. So, I don't know if it's been out before or not. This is a first for me to get one of these. I've never seen these before. So, that's kind of cool. And this one here is limited grip. I think that is a really cool looking truck. I like it. It's got the twin turbos in there. It's a Black Widow on the side there. Black Widow exhaust. I think it's kind of neat. Not too bad. Again, I don't remember ever seeing this casting before. I don't know if it's new or it's not new. I have no idea. But it's pretty cool. And that's part of the Hot Wheel Truck series. So that's all right. And we got a 2010 Camaro. This is the Fire Chief, done in orange, yellow glass in it, black interior. Not too bad. He like said these are ones that I ain't seen yet, so I don't know what cases these are out of. Not a clue. Not a clue. Well, there we go. Not a bad looking machine. And I got Rescue Duty, Animal Rescue, and I picked it up because I don't have one so it's not a fantastic one by any means but it's, it's different and that's all right I'm sure there'll be lots of these left in the bins that's for sure and then we got the Lotus again pretty cool casting of this car I do like this one done in a gray with black interior pretty sharp it's actually a pretty sharp looking machine I'm not a big fan of the wheels but yeah whatever Got some detail to her. She's got some headlights in her and she got some taillights in her, which is pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then we got the brick and motor. I got one here not too long ago. I believe it was yellow. So I got, well, I'll pick this one up too. And of course, this is the front. It goes on the, it goes on the front there. It snaps on there. It's kind of your Lego type thing. It's, I guess, maybe Mega Blocks. Yeah, it's different. It's all right. Yeah. And this here casting, I haven't seen this casting in a long, long time. It's part of the uh, drag strip series, so yeah, I got to get them. I think it's pretty cool. It's all right. Never seen them. This is Papa Wheelie. Hot Wheels Papa Wheelie. And this one here actually looks like it's plastic. I don't believe that is Zamax at all. It looks like that body is all plastic on that one. But it is pretty cool. Don't see many of them around. It's awesome. And then we got the Lolex, I guess it is. I got this one before. It's done in maybe blue and a red one. I'm not sure now. But I think it's a pretty cool vehicle. I like it. This one's done in the cream color or a white off white pretty cool looking truck I like it and it's part of the drag strip series so, yep gotta get all them ones and then we got yep I'm not even gonna try and say that it almost looks like the coupe clip but it's not this one got wheels done in black with the uh, gold silver interior it's actually a pretty cool looking machine I like it. I don't know. No, I was thinking maybe those headlights light up, but they won't. Oh, yeah, she's pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then the Tri-5 Terror, which I found one. And this is the only one I found done in baby blue with a purple glass. Uh, yeah, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not a fan of that baby blue, but it is a gasser. I got to have it, you know. I I've got the yellow one. I got the blue one. Thing is awesome. 
This is part of the Hot Wheels Gassers series, I guess. Back. Awesome. I like it. I wouldn't mind finding another one because I like to open at least one of these. I only got the one yellow one too, so I don't know if I'll ever find another yellow one or not. And then we got the Corvette C7 Z06. Awesome. They did a nice job with this paint. I like the color. It's a uh, gray with the silver striping, I guess it is there. That thing is sharp. The paint scheme on this thing is awesome. It's got headlights in it. This is one nice looking car from Hot Wheels. Thing is sharp. There's a back for lots of detail. Yeah, it was actually, this one shocked me when I seen it. It's like, this is actually a really nice looking car. Did a nice job. Looks good. And then we got another Corvette. This is Stingray, 72 Stingray. Again, nice job. Like the gray with the silver interior. This is sharp. This has done another nice job. I know it's pretty plain and basic looking, but they did do a nice job with this. It looks really good. Now, I'm not sure. This one here is the one you put your little flashlight underneath there, or your, your phone light, and the headlights will light up. So that's kind of cool. But that is a cool looking car. I think they did a nice job with that. Very nice. Yeah, it's uh, the little dots under there to, to light it up. But it doesn't say anything about it on the back of the card. Nothing. But yeah, this one here, the headlights will light. So that's kind of cool. And we got the Nissan Leaf. I believe I have one of these, but I don't remember it being in this color, white. So that's why I grabbed her. Looks pretty good white. Not too bad. And it's part of the uh, Modified series. Hot Wheels Modified. It's all right. And then we got the Mazda 7878 or 787B. Now I'm thinking what the color of the last one was. I'm thinking it was blue, but I'm not sure. But pretty cool casting of this car. Not too bad. Not too bad. And of course, there's the car dart. Pretty good. That's a nice car. I like it. Still see them in the bins everywhere you go. And we got the Toyota Land Cruiser 80, which is pretty cool. And this is another one. It's the only one I've seen. So I grabbed it. And it's got lots of detail on the front. And it's got nice big tires on her. The back of her. Spare tire. Yeah, that is a nice looking casting of that truck. I think. I think they did a pretty nice job with that. It's all right. And then we got the 87 Dodge D100, and it's done in a pink, which is uh, very unique. I don't know if it's going with the Barbie thing or what, but yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. This is a Baja Blazers series, and it's pretty cool. Black interior. I like the color on it. I think they did a nice job with the color on this one. Looks good. Hot wheels on the side. Yeah like it I do like this I think that's pretty cool oh this video is going quite long and we Austin Austin Martin vintage GTE a very cool one Michelin on the side nice with golf on the hood there now I did do one of these I don't know if it was this one but I don't remember it. That's why I grabbed this one. But yeah, it's pretty cool casting of this car. This is a Hot Wheels Turbo series. Pretty cool. Like that. Looks good. Not a bad looking machine at all. And yep, not going to say it. I don't know what it is. It's a part of the electric series. Or green speed, I guess it is. It's pretty busy with the graphics. Black interior in that one. Or smoked out glass anyways. There's a back of her. It's a pretty cool looking car. But, eh. It's, it's alright. Not too bad. This one here, I thought that was good. This is a jackhammered. I think that's a pretty cool looking car. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be very popular. I don't know what's up with that. 
I've seen quite a few of these actually and I think it's pretty pretty cool and it's part of the Hot Wheel wagons I like it I think that looks really good I don't know what it is with me and station wagons lately but that is just cool I like that thing is awesome and then we got a Batmobile which is you know I had to get it because I got all kinds of Batmobile stuff this one here is done in white it's not the nicest looking in this white but eh, it is what it is black racing stripe type deal on it there it's all right but it's definitely white and it says on the the top of the card there DC flash the flash up there so yeah it's different not too bad and then we got this Epstein rod uh, it's not Epstein I can't even read that now oh whatever we're gonna leave it at that and uh, yeah this is a Hot Wheels 55 race team so that's done in white this time instead of the blue which is pretty cool so that's uh, I had to get it because it's part of the Hot Wheels race team so yeah it's not bad don't mind that at all so I guess that's pretty much it and if you like that go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and uh, yeah thanks for watching see ya